Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard and it is a scorcher right now. And I've just discovered that I didn't bring my rag out of the water bucket, but I've got it now, which I'd like to make sure I show you guys. Rag, wet rag, bigger than that was is okay too. Um, to keep your spatulas clean. Spatulas, where are they? Oxo omelet turning spatulas, best paint spreading spatulas around. We'll see if we're going to use those in a minute. And my number one and my other number one. And they lasted a couple of years. I'm going to buy another one soon. Actually, I think I have one on order. Uh, number five is the round. Number two is the rectangle. I like the diagonal too. Number four. Number three is pointy. That works well for things. I'm going to do something fun for me. And that something fun is going to be using colors that I've got, making sure that my cards for pulling paint are somewhat sand free. This is the sand zone. And I'm going to try my hardest to go outside my comfort zone with colors that I don't usually use. And I'm going to start whether, wherever I start. I'm going to turn that around so I use the residual paint on the edge of the canvas. And then I'm going to lay it down. I'm just going to pull that right out. And I'm going to keep using colors I like. I'm going to try this, this uh, Stardust Mica. Stardust.com? I'm not sure. Anyway, um, I keep thinking that it would be good to have it. Yes, I see you. You're buzzing me. Go away. <laughs> uh, have it with some white paint, so... I'm going to try that. I'm not going to know for sure what happens, but I'd like to see how far it goes and how sheer it is. And I love those little cells I just got. And I'm going to keep using some white because the white, even though this is an Anita's metallic, is a good catalyst. And I like, that's the dark purple. That was a master's touch from uh, Hobby Lobby, but Hobby Lobby has doubled the price of them. They used to be $7 and now they're like $11.99. Hello? So you can go any way you want. Cross over anytime you want. Add a little more paint whenever you want. I see that over there. <laughs> you know I do. Um, I'm going to keep picking colors I like. I've shaken almost everything. There's not much coming out of there. I think I must be almost done. So, not sure if it's my best idea to keep putting the tops back on or not. But I do like to dip the schmutzy card in to different places and over the edge, so I cover, and then just keep pulling, because I can, the name of my book on the Amazon link, it should be Pulling Paint. You can dip the card with the schmutzy paint on it, and just press it down like a stamp, that works pretty well. It's nice when the paint comes out. Really it is. <laughs> that was not it. I'm going to keep using the white pearl because it seems to be a good catalyst for making the paint go a little further. I'm going to scrape that card right off. Make my finger go over the edge somewhat. I bet it's not all the way over there. Let me see if I can swivel my turntable around. I've set my, set my timer. This could take a little bit more than my usual 17 minutes, which is when I start to tell you guys that you can shop my Amazon link at no added cost to you and help me out, <laughs> which now I don't have to do, but I won't remember that when the time comes. So I like this, and I want to keep combining it with other things. And as long as I'm not putting it over a layer of paint that's going to swallow it entirely because it's a mica powder I expect to be able to see it. Now I do think that it's probably going to dry darker than it is there 
but there's not much I can do about that. And I am going to use residuals from whatever I get to change up the colors of things and the schmutz that's on the card to touch up my edge. And as long as I remember to do that with my finger, I'm going to use my finger too. So, what now? I haven't used any gold in there and I kind of want some silver and I have some. And I don't usually use it, but it might be time to find out what happens with that if it... Whoa, okay, I have way more than I anticipated there. But, that never stopped me before. So let's just pick most of that up. Bring it this way. Maybe I was meant to have a big silver shiny area right there. And I've got other purples. I'd like to leave my tops off, but I'm, I'm unsure at this point whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, because when the paint clogs up the tips, it's never any fun for me. And it wastes a lot of time for you guys. So I'm just going to go in there. I'm sorry, I'm probably out of your range. I'm just adding paint like a crazy person. Probably not fast enough though. I'm loving these colors. I don't know if they're going to stay these colors or if I'm going to add something to them. Anywhere I, I see that there's still wet paint, that means that I can change up the color or the pattern by dipping the card that's been somewhere else in something else. I like that red. I don't often use that red. I think I want some more of that red. You can also tap. Tap and pull. And just rub your card down. As long as the colors aren't too too potentially muddy, you're probably safe. I gotta quit putting my stuff in front of me. All right, so it's time to bring some other colors into this and blow the pollen away. <laughs> Move my paint back. This is an Art Mines. And I wanna see what happens. I'm gonna use some gold in there. I wasn't sure I was going to use gold, but um, I am right now. Just like making some patterns. Stealing some paint from one spot to the next. I'm going to run my finger right along that card. With the matching paint. And put it in there. Anytime I know there's a fair amount of paint on my card, I'm just going to use it to make a new pattern, area, square, whatever you want to call it. That was pretty heavy. That was not what I intended right there, but that's okay. I can always come back later. As long as I'm fast, my paint won't get too gummy. It is warm out here. I did mention that. Let's find... I see you thing that does not belong. Let's find a larger card and use it. Let's just go a little crazy. <laughs> Short drip. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help it. Every time I say that, I remember. Short drip. So the reason I put down a bunch of colors like that is so that if I have some wet paint and I pull it through, then I have some residual on my card. And the turntable, it's not so great because it's pulling my entire <laughs> artwork forward, but I'm going to use my finger and fix that. I'm going to press my card down. 
you bring it over to this next section. Bring it back. Grab some of that paint. Move it along. I haven't put any black in here and I'd kind of like to. I also haven't moved any more of that purple down to that edge and I want to while I'm right here. I don't like framing artwork. You can't blame me. Um, once upon a time, many, many, many years ago, I went to a framer and I had some prints I wanted framed and I didn't ask the price or I didn't pay close enough attention to the price. And when it came time to pick them up, it was like $450 for four or five little pieces. And I, I'm like, never again. Do I want any orange in there? I might. better be very careful of purple and orange because they will create something entirely new I'm not going to like. So let's see if I have another card around here without anything particularly hanging off it. Oh, I want that to release. There we go. Perfect. Doesn't matter what they are. I use the little acetate pieces that I cut off packaging a lot of times. Didn't put any yellow in there. I definitely have a bunch of, I can see little pools of things. Sorry, I get quiet once in a while because I'm focused on doing stuff the right way. <laughs> yeah, right, that sounded just so wrong. <laughs> Chances are good, that's not the truth. I'm trying to maintain my my muse's integrity with listening, my listening skills. A lot of this is spontaneous art. Because in the moment, I am spontaneously inspired. Also, my camera shuts off in 20 minutes, so if I want to make some movies, I better be spontaneously inspired. And I figure there's always tomorrow, if I don't like what I have, I wish I would stop leaving things in front of my turntable. I want some serious yellow. There it is. And I just, just I discovered by doing this that I actually like the gold and the yellow together, as weird as that sounds. I keep thinking every time I do this I'm going to make some really, really large, large areas. Yes, I made green. Yes, I was anticipating making green. I don't mind the really strange little textural things that happen along the way. Don't use yellow often enough, and it always adds a nice little pop of color. I'm probably going to have to go back through and add, fill in some gaps. I only have three minutes left. There's probably very little chance I can finish this. Hopefully you can see most of that. Sometimes I finish things in three minutes. I'm going to use the extra paint to let that go over, even with a little schmutz in it. It's okay. I'm going to keep cleaning off my card. I probably have a stack of them around here somewhere, and I probably should have grabbed them before I started. I like this dark purple. I gotta get that. I'm carrying a, a, a bottle cap in my hand as I do this, which is pretty funny, really. And then I put them down, and I put them under where I want to be working. So I'm getting kind of closer to something I had in mind. I'm not sure that I'm there yet by any stretch. I think I want my larger card back, and I'm, so I'm going to wipe it off so I don't have anything really bad on there. She said hopefully. And I think I'd like to use this iridescent purple all kinds of places. Like right over on the edge, right there. I 
it makes a strange pattern, that's okay with me. And if it changes up the colors, that's okay with me too. I think I want some more white. I might actually get in under the under the line, under the recording limits. Just sort of rolling along a bunch of paint and then looking for the spaces I might need it. Trying not to screw up the patterns that I like. Also keeping an eye on the edges. Now if I did one of these one day as a start, that might be kind of cool because then I could come back the next day and do another layer. I don't know if I've done that or not, come to think of it. Taking a big chance with that purple right there. I'm not sure this is my favorite yet. But um, I'm not done either. That's my two minute warning. We might still get it done, you can't tell. I don't have to pull anything, I can just lay paint right down. That is a bamboo skewer that was stuck to my table. I never think of this until the very end that I can just add texture anywhere I want. Well, that's within reason. Because if you're not careful, you will get some interesting color combinations you may not like. So don't do like I do. Go slower and enjoy your process because you're not in a hurry. I mean, the, the acrylic paint dries for sure, but. Um, I'm going to find myself some smaller cards and wipe off my skewer, which is more, more paint blob tool than skewer at this point. Yeah, that's not too bad. I don't mind that a bit. I'm kind of beginning to like it very much, actually. I have a whole other side I'm going to be touching up when you guys are gone, though. I've got to tell you over here is pretty much naked along the edge. Get those caps out of your hand, woman. All right. Well, I'm kind of liking this, but I'm not sure part two is going to hold. Um, I'm looking for that white pearl, but I might want some gold instead. I might want to put some gold everywhere that I can see a spot just because I can. The name of my book on the Amazon link, which is, by the way, the best place to shop for tools like the OXO omelet turning spatula, as I showed you at the beginning, and the, uh... oh boy. Hey, if you guys wouldn't mind, if you like what I do, I need a thumbs up from you guys and or for you to look at the end screens to watch more videos, because if you do and you give me a thumbs up, then I get to come back and share a video every day, hopefully, continuing on. As much as, as long as possible, and uh, it tells the YouTube algorithm that you want to help me do that by showing them that I am worthy and popular. It's all about the minutes watched, and sometimes it's about the commercials too. I'm not so sure about that thing right there, but uh, I know you're going to be gone in a minute, and I might ditz around with this, so I could be back. And I'm not, still not minding it. And I still have a whole side to cover. So I love you guys. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression to Start Studio Gallery in the backyard going, thank you for joining me. And thank you for 75,000 of you. And thank you for watching more videos. And thank you for all the contributions. And there's a contest on the end screens, if you look for it, where you'll find an exhibition of landscapes during August. And it will change month to month. And you can see the prizes for this next month's drawing. So, I'm going to move some bottles of paint out of the way, and I'm going to have a look at this, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to call it good. <laughs>